the Mississippi River provides a vital economic pipeline through Louisiana and communities all around the globe. Nearly 500 million tons of cargo annually transit the Mississippi River ship channel from Baton Rouge to the Gulf of Mexico. It provides $400 billion in economic impact every year and 20% of all waterborne commerce in the U.S. travels along the Mississippi. 20% of the nation's coal and petroleum products and 60% of the nation's grain for export. 92% of the nation's agricultural exports are produced by the Mississippi River Basin, along with 78% of the world's feed grain and soybean exports, all dependent on the Mississippi River ship channel. $21 billion in annual agricultural exports are shipped through Louisiana's port system, which relies on the channel. Sedimentation occurs along the Mississippi as sand and silt wash downstream, gradually filling the shipping channel. This sediment must be dug out to ensure that the river maintains the required channel depth for today's massive cargo ships and tankers. This process is known as dredging. Dredging uses to remove sediment to create new coastal land. This new land is an important component of coastal restoration efforts in Louisiana. This important work is accomplished through the combined efforts of cutter head dredges and hopper dredges. Hopper dredges are large, self-propelled, seaworthy vessels that move up and down the river, sucking in the sediment and storing it in the ship's hull. The sediment is then transported to an approved disposal site where it can be pumped ashore and out of the waterway. Cutter head dredges work from a stationary location. Sediment is stirred up by the cutter head and then pumped out of the channel through a pipeline. For cutter head dredges to work efficiently, one lane of the channel must be closed. This one lane highway must be serviced by hopper dredges in order to remain open. Vessels require a certain amount of water to float and not touch bottom. This channel depth continues to increase over time as larger and larger ships are deployed. Dredging ensures the required channel depth for safe passage by today's modern vessels while simultaneously providing the dredge material needed to restore our coastal wetlands. Healthy and vibrant coastal wetland habitats are imperative to restoration efforts and the placement of dredged material is critical to coastal restoration. Dredge material is used to provide a buffer around the shipping channel, fortifying it. Not only does dredging play a critical role in the transportation of our industrial, agricultural, and energy resources, but dredge material is used to replenish and protect living coastal and marine resources, enhancing community resilience by restoring and revitalizing our Gulf economy. Sufficient and sustainable funding of dredging operations along the Mississippi is crucial to Louisiana's ability to safely and efficiently meet the world's industrial, agricultural, and energy needs while maintaining the federally authorized channel dimensions and the economy of the nation's most prolific tonnage ports complex.